you know, I hope I can put it in proper words. I love Lake Tahoe. It's always been a sanctuary. It's heaven on earth. It's a place that I've gone to since I was a little boy. I mean, it taught me about the environment. It taught me about the importance of preserving what I feel is probably the most special place on earth. You know, typically everybody looks to government, you know, for help. What's the government going to do? And I get asked that all the time, but that's where the Tahoe Fund comes in because it identifies committed individuals who all have that singular goal, which is to protect the lake. And for me, it's really easy when I go to find public funds in order to improve the lake. The first question I get asked is, what about the private sector? What about the people that live up there? And the Tahoe Fund is the first place that I can point to to show that commitment and dedication, not just in words, but in, in finance and people's personal treasury. When they're willing to come out of their own pockets in order to improve the lake, it really speaks volumes. Johnson Meadow is 206 acres of undeveloped land in the heart of South Lake Tahoe with some of the most beautiful vistas. Towering peaks set the backdrop to a wide open meadow with over a mile of the upper Truckee River running through it. It is the last largest privately owned stretch of the Truckee River. Years in the making, the Tahoe Resource Conservation District recently acquired Johnson Meadow, finally filling in the missing piece of the biggest environmental improvement project in Lake Tahoe. With the missing piece now in public hands, restoration of the whole Nine Mile River is now possible. This will have a huge impact on Lake Tahoe's water quality and clarity. So this project is up in Desolation Wilderness in the True Backcountry. It's one of the prettiest segments of the Tahoe Rim Trail and of the entire Pacific Crest Trail as well. Uh, beautiful mountain views, uh, pristine alpine lakes. So for this project, we're working on about 10 or 12 miles of, of trail. The first goal is to mitigate erosion by reducing the amount of sediment that goes into the lakes and streams up in Desolation. The second is to improve uh, user safety by eliminating some of the tripping hazards and other issues that we have on the trail. And the third is to improve the experience of hiking along the trail. The trails in this area are frequented by mountain bikers, hikers, equestrians, and motorized users. None of those uses are going to change through this project. We just hope to expand the opportunities for each of those groups and improve the maintenance on the trails that all those groups already use. The work out here will be done by a combination of community volunteers, forest service staff, and even a professional trail design contractor. So this project involves several key partnerships with the U.S. Forest Service, Tahoe Area Mountain Biking Association, Truckee Tahoe Airport, and now with support from the Tahoe Fund, we have all the components in place and all the players in place to move this project forward and get done in 2018. With the support of the Tahoe Fund, we can make these great trails even better. The Sugar Pine Foundation is a grassroots organization dedicated to restoring sugar pines and western white pines in our forests through mostly volunteer efforts. Sugar pines have decreased in great numbers. They used to be about 25% of the Tahoe forest and now they're less than 5%. Due to logging, fire suppression, and a non-native invasive fungus called white pine blisterust. It is important to replant sugar pines because we don't want to lose them as a species in our mixed conifer forest. A forest that has a diversity of trees is much more resilient to stressors. Different species have different adaptations. The partnership with the Tahoe Fund is allowing the Sugar Pine Foundation to plant more sugar pines in the Tahoe Basin to strengthen the sugar pine population and also to reach more community members and volunteers to participate in our plantings and teach them about different tree species and forest health. You know, I think about someday when I have grandkids and their children, I want them to have the same experience that I've had. And I really believe that there is no other place on earth like Lake Tahoe. And I want all of them to have that emotional and personal experience that I've had. 
and it wouldn't be possible without the individuals at the Tahoe Fund. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I hope we can continue to count on your support.